Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? EST 19 double X family, we are back here with another video. It's good to hop on back and make some videos for you guys. Miss you guys. I need to start uploading more, that's my bad. But uh, yeah, today we got a brand new reaction. Uh, I heard there was a new MGK interview and wanted to check it out. I love watching his interviews. And this is called Machine Gun Kelly Talks About Finding Success with His Late Latest Album. <laughs> Tickets to my downfall. Sorry for the sniffles. Uh, but yeah, on the road to 2,000 subscribers, guys. If you guys are new, please subscribe. Turn on the those post notifications if you guys are uh, laced up. Appreciate every one of you guys. And yeah, we're going to check it out. Leave a like and comment what you think, what kind of videos you want to see next. And yeah, hopefully... It's not too loud and you guys can hear me, so let's check it out. Hi everybody, my name is Nicole bit, Alvarez. Welcome to Radio.com's DTS Sound Space. I'm broadcasting from my house, but we're gonna hang out and chat oh. with my friend Machine Gun Kelly. I'm gonna start by, by saying that I'm a fan, so I'm gonna make this pretty awesome. And everything that I ask you is gonna come from, this conversation is coming from the heart and these are things that I wanna I know. people talking about on um, Twitter, he was for example, pretty sad. It looks first like time it. I ever laid eyes on you, had nothing to do with music it was in roadies and it's hard not to immediately fall in love with a character like wes right and the second time i ever saw you was a video on the internet of you singing to your daughter so i was like this is an awesome human being then i found out that on a separate timeline you were this massively successful rapper which blew my mind huh. so fast forward right. to now i've been a fan for really that probably is weird to some people who like see him for his uh his rock stuff first or something and then he's like a fucking rapper too you're like oh shit a long time and i'm watching this you be insanely all. successful at everything you do and what my first question is how old were you when you figured out that you were not one thing or another that your path was actually many i realized when i would like watch movies and go to school trying to be like characters in movies or something like that was when i realized i didn't have a solid foundation in my home life to follow after so i was just kind of idolizing whoever was in my headphones or was in front of me true on like the tv or in magazines so i mean probably when i wanted to be a a jedi <laughs> <laughs> awesome. i can see he's, he's getting a little bit laugh out of it but yeah he does look down in this i mean you can't always be happy and yeah uh Hopefully he's okay. I mean, I feel like he is. I feel like he's definitely been happier, happier than recent times in the past. And yeah, we love you, man. Uh, just keep doing your thing. Everyone supports you, so. <laughs> I wanted to be a stormtrooper, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be a stormtrooper. Okay, so I'm going to follow that up with. Ponytails You're in. such a. I call people like you the universe, and I'll explain. You're so multi-dimensional. You harness the energy of the universe in a way that's explosive. Like you carry that with you, which means if Facts. you hold it in, it'll destroy you. So people like you that I call the universe, what you end up doing is you create. And I wanna know how you know when to focus on just one thing. When do you know it's time to act? When do you know it's time to direct? When do you know it's time to sing? When do you know it's time to just be not Machine Gun Kelly? How do you focus? I like her. I never like heard of her or seen her, but I do like her questions and stuff. She seems genu genuine, like she's really a fan. So that's cool. The cool thing about that in regards to what the future holds is that I haven't done that yet. So I haven't focused all of my energy into one thing yet right um so even if you think i'm good at multiple i haven't yet given the world a version of me where i only focus on directing or He's juggling or so much at one time music because it seems like I, I just haven't accessed that part of my um patience yet and so i'm excited for that to open up and to see what can actually come from I'll give you an example of what was pure okay. focus. Tickets to my downfall. That was all me focusing on one thing. So that that actually was the first example of me doing that. So, true, true. Because that felt super focused. I yeah, yeah. The the album itself is such. I don't know. I I always wonder how an artist feels when you go back and it's been some time and you listen to to the 
to the album from front to back. By the way, how are you guys doing today, man? Uh, I love interacting with y'all, reading all the comments, talking to y'all. I just hope you guys are having a good day, whatever you're going through, man. <clears throat> Feel free to talk to me. Uh, I got my social media links in the description. Yeah, I mean, I'm always down to talk to people. Whatever you're going through, man, you'll get through it. We all been there. Keep your head up. I listened to it this morning on a hike to get into, you know, to get into the zone. And hmm. it's such a complete work. And to me, it seems so focused. Granted, there's so many emotions involved, but it does seem so focused. Like you put all of you in there. I could feel it. So I bet you're excited to see when your patience gets you to the point that you really can focus by your standards. That's got to be exciting as hell. Like what next level you could reach. It's exciting though to watch that's my fifth album, Take Us to My Downfall. It's exciting to watch that be the most well received. And actually even the album before that Hotel Diablo, that was then my most well received. So it seems like the Benjamin Button curse in music, and that's like the <laughs> best case scenario because the if you guys don't know Benjamin Button, it's a good ass movie. You should watch it. I forget who the main actor is. I feel like it's someone kind of popular. But it's about this, it's hard to explain. It's like these people find a baby on their doorstep and the baby like looks old, like an old baby. And then it grows into like a human and then he grows back into a baby, I think. I haven't seen it in a while. I know it sounds weird, but it's a good ass movie. Most of the people I watched, it's their first and second albums are where they say everything. And the interest falls off as a fan after the third, fourth, fifth album. And I mean, yeah. most people don't even get to a fifth album. So, I mean, the fact that that was what... Right has catapulted me into whatever realm we're in now is like blowing my mind and and to know that i haven't made my best work yet has given me bro he's got to do something with his hair <laughs> like not trying to hate it i'm like shit his hair is better than mine but what is that bro <laughs> a lot of hope you posted something a few weeks ago on your instagram hairstyles. story and you said it was so honest you said mind you this is seemingly you're king of the prom and all of these things are going right but in the story you said something like you've been in a funk and looking from the outside in you would never imagine that somebody like you is in a funk because to everybody else you're on top of the world i think it is such a beautiful thing to be able to be that honest and vulnerable why is it important to you or what encourages you to keep being so honest because you are and it's magnificent and i hope you stay that way well i find myself going in intervals because a lot of the times I will just polish myself up. We um, all do. And I will just put on a smile and I'll know that when an achievement happens, the fans and the family that I built around me are the reasons why that achievement even happened. Yes, Steve, so baby. I kind of owe them that smile and that excitement, even though right before I go to accept it, I might just be feeling like this is my moment to go out there and just be honest with everybody like I'm not doing okay or like you know so instead I do just suck it up and go put a bird in the background and I don't mean literally musically perform because I'm always down to like release myself there but no I'll I get it like smile and polish myself up but that one video, uh, I mean, it's funny that you mentioned that because I also deleted that video. There's one thing about him too, bro. Like, hate on this man all you want, dude. If you're Eminem stand and whatever. Shit's in the past. It doesn't matter. Everything you say is your own opinion. But, uh, yeah, hate on him all you want, but he's realer, he's realer than you are. You know what I mean? He's fucking famous ass rich, and he's still taking the time of his day to explain how he feels and not put on a fake smile and let his fans know you know what i mean and it's hard to do that especially in the limelight so yeah that's one thing i like about him a it lot. stayed um, with me though it stayed with me because you had a human moment and i felt you know you scroll on social media and somebody like me that's not like you know successful like you i'm successful in my own right but i have days that everybody seems like they're they're all conquering their dreams and then i see somebody that i admire that i'm a fan of that had an honest moment and i feel so connected that it gets me out of my funk so you it's kind of magic honesty is magic that way that honest moment was just coming from me being like all right I'll, I'll smile and do all that stuff when it is time for me to get on camera but i haven't been active on social media for months and i just had a moment of kind of explaining to everybody why 
I wasn't active on there because that is the only way that I can be interact with my fans, even though they don't know that I go and see what they're saying to me all the time and like what they're what they're feeling about facts the projects or the music that I'm making. That's one thing too. He always uh not all the time, but a lot of the time I see him liking tweets and replying and retweeting and shit like that and he's always been one to you know I mean cater to his fans and shit like that. So that's really like I awesome. always am looking at what they're saying. But I'm not acknowledging it. I think it's a smart move to step away from the machine every once in a while and to not engage. It's that to me is self preservation. I am um, right. I admire so I admire so much about you and you have it's funny how you see yourself and then how, how other people like perceive us. For example, you, you still keep going. That's the whole thing, which is amazing about you. You So the way that I watch you live is it's almost like you're on borrowed time. You have this like conquer the world in a day energy, which I'm so envious of. I wish I had a little bit of it. And you go, go, go. And I always look at you and I'm like, what drives him? So what drives you to push yourself to keep going? and and showing up because you have been showing up don't take that away from yourself i have real love for the people that receive what i do in a positive way for their own lives like i really do Facts. feel like a necessity to serve the people it feels like there's so much inauthenticity and so much selfishness and so much that drives people to do things for the wrong reason when i really like i used to think it was because I wanted to be the best and I was like, well, maybe it's to achieve the same things that your idols had or like, you know, be talked about like that. And then I realized I'm in a day and age where every single person is a celebrity, even the person who like walks their dog with like 15 dogs on a leash, it's <laughs> the video of it there. They have their own viral <laughs> moment for a minute. Like the dog yeah. walker is famous, right? So like, <laughs> I don't even like, I, I'm just saying anybody, right? Like you, you can do anything at any moment in this day and age and like- The skateboarding guy and the Fleetwood Mac song. Oh, like yeah, that's exactly. a perfect example. Like you could become legendary for for, for taking out the trash the right, right yeah. way. So I kind of <laughs> remove myself from thinking like in that perspective. And then I just started looking at all of the people I was affecting, like I saw kids buy guitars because of me i saw kids get tattoos because of me i saw kids feel comfortable looking like wearing clothes that would that society would make you feel uncomfortable wearing. yeah it's fucking amazing bro it's like exactly the shit he's talking about right now like how much a certain person even if you don't know him can affect you and like everyone getting tattoos music buying shit for him from him you know what i mean it's just like and him being so real with it, it's just like teaching you to be comfortable in your own skin. You know what I mean? Like, so many people hate on this man, and he's still him. He's still the real shit. So don't ever feel like you gotta be fake or do something different to fit in. Just be yourself, man. Everyone's still gonna love you. Not everyone, but people who are really there for you are still gonna love you. Wearing it because of me, like, and there was a comfortability that came with a new wave of fans that. And I don't even know if I should call people fans just like i don't even view them as fans either like i just they're just like people that stumbled across my my being and related to it so i i don't know it's almost like i just feel a heavy sense of to serve while i'm here and it's a shame that sometimes we get caught in like viewing like an artist isn't like you know, isn't doing enough because I'm not outwardly responding all the time, but I am outwardly responding. I'm just doing it with my art and I'm doing less talking and more walking. Facts. That's the way that it should be. And I think that's one of the things that I um, personally love about you the most. And this conversation, I'm a bigger fan now. Um, you're a, you're a real, you have the heart of a warrior. And that's what I see when I look at you. And I'm, I'm very stoked that we're having this conversation. So thank you. I'm gonna ask you two questions that fans sent in that I promised. Um, and then I'm going to I'm going to set you free. Um, one of them is what are you doing to make contact with your fans through the pandemic? It started with quarantine sessions, which was where I would just Facts. make music in my house and release it immediately without any approval from so hard labels or management. <laughs> and I would just l let it go. And there was something really pure about that. Kells, we need some more quarantine vibes, bro. 
Another smoke and drive, dude, part two. Like, come on, dog. And I think maybe, In like, these walls. you know, Instagram lives are really cool, and I should yeah. bring those back. And I, I, I'll, I'll be better this, this year about being um, back active. And I, and I guess, like, me being the way I am, I can't, I, I can't change it. So it's not like I can just stay hidden away until I am confident in myself. You know what else you've done though? You've given us your art. Like I listen to Tickets to My Downfall a lot, especially a lot lately. And so in a way, that's kind of what you're doing to make contact with your fans is you're giving us, you're giving us your truth and you're giving us these songs that happen to sound amazing, like melody wise, all of it. They just, it all comes together. And in our quiet moments, when you're not watching, when you can't see us in the front row, that's what we're doing. We're hanging out with your music and it makes us feel good. So I think that Thanks. is something that you do that you, uh, I'm going to give you credit for. How's that buddy? <laughs> that's really cool. And, and, and maybe I'm used to touring so much that I figured that that's the way I would get in front of people and, 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 you know, talk to them. I know every interaction that I've had lately, I've just been like, so embracing of people coming up and I'm really happy to share moments with people and like, I'm more aware than ever that those interactions really mean something to people. I remember there was this, I was shooting this movie last month and I was in this town that's in the middle of Georgia, right <laughs> four hours from Atlanta. So it's not like a major hub or anything. And there was this 10 year old kid who was across the street and he was, he was screaming. He was like, Hey man, will you sign my helmet? And I ended up finding out he's like a little like dirt bike rider. Right? He's like 10 years old. Oh. And the guy, there was a, like a, like a, a COVID officer or something. And he was like, don't go over there. Don't, don't touch the kid. Don't do it. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not turning my back on anybody, let alone a 10 year old kid who this might inspire him for the rest of his life. Like to like believe in looking up to somebody because that's the choices that we have right now, you know, like let them scare us away from human moments or, or your fucking to, hero kills <laughs> you know, like a 10 year old's life. Like, how do you know he's ever going to even get out of that town and ever meet anybody? Like, what if I'm the one person the in the entire life <laughs> that he met where he's like, Oh, there's a guy for like, you know, like, and, and, and I ruin that whole interaction for him. I'm never oh. going to do that. And as far as my fans, I got to let them know that I sit there and think about going on live on IG almost every day. I almost click the button, almost click it. And then I just see that, I see the mirror image of, you know, when you're, when you're on the phone and it's like pointing yeah. towards your face. Yeah, yeah. And then I see my face and I'm like, I'm not good enough. And then I just put it <laughs> up and I never do it. So I, 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 it's, 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 it just comes from, I'm in a weird place of just thinking too much or something, I don't know, but. I'll, listen, I'll... listen, new friend. Um, I, I, I can relate to that more than you know, and we can have this conversation some other day in real life. But just know that you are good enough. And some of the things there are lyrics on that record, on the, the latest record, on Tickets to My Downfall, that I that I could have written myself. And because you wrote them for me, I don't have to let anybody know that they're mine, that they're my feelings, and I get to ride that wave because of you. So whenever you see that image, just know that somebody out there wants to see it. You don't always have to jump on IG Live. It's just, you know, because sometimes we miss you when you're gone more. It's when it's those little games. But man, Kels, just know you are loved. I'm gonna ask you one more question from the fan um, who was so excited. It's from Savannah who won our SoCal Helpful Honda Dealers Question Contest. And she said, if you could perform one song right this second, what would it be and why? The thing about Take This My Downfall is that it's like 26 minutes or 34 minutes or something like that. So it's- How can you choose a song from that, bro? I mean, I know mine, but- It's like I could just run it front to back so really good. easy. And uh, uh, so, I mean, that would be my first option. If I had to narrow it down to one song, probably, lonely just run that got back you and, to back to back or or uh or nothing, i listened to that three or, times or nothing, today, inside. nothing inside's fun or like i love nothing inside too or bro. dude like just drunk face right just put yes. a smile on everybody's face such a good like freeing track that's my favorite bro drunk um, face. what is maybe one intention that you Sweet, have for I'm the future and then the next time you and i talk we'll talk about 
um, how far that intention went. So it's almost like we get we, we get to pick up where we left off next time we see each other. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what is one intention for the future? Break the mold of everything I just did. Okay. And piss people off all over again. <laughs> I hope you see the light like you just lit up. You just lit up when you said that. And um, I don't you know what? I don't doubt that you're going to do that, my friend. I don't doubt. I keep calling you my friend because I think it's the most respectful thing to say. Yeah, I think um, it's awesome. I appreciate having a friend and I, I, I like can feel in the universe that I have many. And um, I was talking yesterday about how I really am choosing to not acknowledge negative and, and haters and stuff when I have so many actual people that care and, and love and and even when I say facts uh break the mold and piss people off all over again <laughs> I just mean make them think again make them have a moment of like this artist is so polarizing I I I have to tune in I have to see what yeah. because I don't want to be bored with an artist and I think you know Kanye is a great example of that. We all just are, we all, we all have moments of sitting at the tables and talking about Kanye and, and, and being like, I didn't like this, or I love this, or why is he doing that? But I'll tell you what, man, we're still talking about him and we know that there's greatness in there and behind it. And it, it's like, I, I, to be a part of that club of, you know, when Prince passed and seeing how, everything that even in the even in the 80s when maybe everyone was like this doesn't make any sense true seeing how it made so much sense in the years leading up to his his death and the years after like that's a legacy worth fighting for and it's not going to be easy and i'm aware of that so i'm um I'm, I'm happy to keep, yeah i'm happy to keep breaking the mold one bonus question. I'm making a playlist with a bunch of music nerds and we've been talking about what's the most beautiful song that we've ever heard. Not your favorite song. Yeah. The most beautiful song to the point that it's almost too emotional to listen to the whole way through. And we're, what we're doing is we're compiling a huge playlist, the most beautiful playlist in the world. If I ask you what's the most beautiful song you've ever heard off the cuff, what you got? Hmm. Probably high and dry by Radiohead. Ooh, good one. I got a I got a Radiohead one too, but it's mine is uh, Reckner. I mean, and if you listen to it, it'll t it'll take you. It'll just it hurts. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> Reckner. So if you have the time, throw that on. And I then know. the next time, yeah, the next time that we talk, hopefully it'll be in person. Hopefully it'll be at a show. And I just wanted to say thanks. I'm a big fan, and I never know what I'm gonna get. And I I am. Um, this is really cool because the next time I see you, I'm probably gonna give you a hug, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm please. Oh, wait, okay. I, have, I have one question for you because sure. I, didn't, I didn't answer it very well. I, okay. Like, just pretend I'm Savannah. Okay, if, if you were me <laughs> and you could perform a song right now off that album, which which one would you do? Lonely, because that's the one I listened to yeah, today okay. three or four yeah. times. So it I, would okay. be lonely. We both, had, we both had the right answer then. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. And I think that that's uh, just the term alone, lonely, because of what we've been through. We're going on the year of being in this weird lockdown situation where we, we haven't True. really had human contact. I think the emotion behind it and the title itself, people can relate to. And I think it would feel really therapeutic to sing that out loud with everything I have right now. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Bye, my friend. Have a great, great night. OK. All right. You too. Later. Right. Hey, that was dope. That was Machine Gun Kelly talks about finding success with his latest album. <laughs> Fucking narrator, speed rapper by, uh, what is that? K-R-O-Q. K-R-O-Q. So go check them out, subscribe, give them a, a like and all that. Only 20 likes, only 159 views, damn. When did that, damn, it came out today? Must have been earlier. Yep, such a beautiful human. But yeah, that is it, guys. Uh, go subscribe to the channel. We are sitting at 1,810 subscribers. It might be different, like 114 or whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, appreciate you guys. Get me to 2,000 subs on the road. Appreciate every one of y'all. Have a good ass day. Stay laced up. Look out for the next video. Gonna react to the Corpse MGK song coming out, uh, was it the 12th? This Friday, I think, the 12th. Probably gonna get copyright striked, so I might have to fight that, but... We'll see. Appreciate every one of y'all. Love y'all. Lace up. Peace.